Hey, it's Luke. Welcome back to another episode of Magical Insight. I am in a different location right now at a very different time of day, as you can tell. But I hadn't made a video today, and I wanted to share one with you. So the topic of today has to do with therapy and counseling. So I have, I, so my, most of my life, I've been very opposed to therapy and counseling because I, I felt such a stigma around it. I felt like therapy and counseling is for people who are broken. That was my judgment. And I either thought I wasn't broken or didn't want to think I was broken. <laughs> so I just stayed away from therapy and counseling. But a strong uh, role model of mine, a teacher who I look up to, was promoting therapy recently. And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe this could work. Maybe this could be a good thing. If I found a good one, a good therapist, and I can use insurance to cover the cost. So, you know, most of the cost anyways. And I, I found someone who's working out really well for me. And it's like really low cost self-development and healing and growth. So basically the point here is, is that if you are not in an ongoing state of whatever, you know, if, if you're feeling consistently any other feelings than you want to be feeling, like for me, I want to always be abundantly joyous, but I'm not always abundantly joyous. And sometimes I'm even angry or fearful or stuck or something like that. And so that's, that's why I got the therapist, is to grow more of the feelings that I want to be having. And it's been really helpful for me. So I would advise you, if you have health insurance, and you want to grow emotionally, psychologically, you want to make forward progress in how you feel, I encourage you to look into finding a therapist who fits for you. And they're definitely not all equal. So you should trust your own judgment of what feels like a good fit, who you feel like is working well for you. So, anyway, that's my insight. Enjoy, and see you later.